Central Service and Supply has been in business for more than 40 years. The company makes screens like this one that are used in rock quarries. They have one facility in the U.S. and now they're opening up their second right here in Macon, Missouri. Yeah. The ribbon's been cut and the manufacturing has started at Central Service and Supply's new operation in Macon. The community is thrilled to welcome the new business. We've had great feedback. Uh, from our customers and from the, the local uh, community about us moving into this area. They want new businesses in, in Macon. Longtime Macon resident Duke Olinger is one of a handful of people who were hired at this new facility. Duke retired from his role as Macon's police chief a few years ago and has been working in a nearby town ever since. He's excited for this new job opportunity in his hometown. I felt separated from the community, so by coming back to Macon and, and being a part of the community again is what I wanted. Company executives say the talent pool runs deep in this region. It was a, a tough decision uh, across the board on who we were going to hire because we felt there were so many quality candidates that we interviewed. In addition to Macon's workforce, opening a new facility here made sense logistically. I think the location itself with Highway 63 and 36 being two pretty good corridors for this portion of the state, that played a large portion into us choosing Macon. With the support of the community as well as a workforce that meets their needs, Macon, Missouri is sure to be a great location for central service and supply to succeed. Reporting for Missouri Partnership, I'm Janelle Higgins.